Next time you come across a school bus in San Diego, what's inside may surprise you. This story that is positively San Diego is about a Navy couple who built their dream home out of a bus. And as ABC 10 News reporter Vanessa Paz explains, the bussy community is growing. Born in Arizona, but transplanted to the coastal city of San Diego is Goose. It was brought to the school bus like sales place. Yeah. Um, so we literally picked it up its last day of school. <laughs> <laughs> a tiny mobile home in the making. Behind it, local Navy couple Sydney and Fabrice. I just love that I'm never going to have to worry about having natural lighting in our home ever again. People are taking retired school buses and just converting them into tiny homes versus buying like standard RVs. So it's completely customized. You can build it into everything that you need it for. And a school bus, they say, was a better bet than your average home on wheels. They're a lot safer than regular RVs as well, because if you think about it, their whole purpose is to carry kids back and forth year after year to school, so. They planned to spend more time on Goose, but COVID gave them a detour. They were on a waiting list to store the bus so they could work on it, but not as many RVs were leaving their space, forcing them to work faster and downsize from their Little Italy apartment to their new tiny home sooner. There are stories of people that have gone from 2,000, 3,000 square foot homes and now they're down, down to 200, 200 square, square feet. feet. Smaller and cheaper it'll run than your average home in San Diego. They say the project will run them under $20,000, friendly for their pockets and for the environment. Really resourceful too, just like people reusing old vehicles that otherwise would just, you know, sit around and rot on a lot forever. They say this tiny home bussy community is so popular because people can pretty much work from anywhere nowadays. For more information on their tiny home and its progress, just go ahead and visit 10news.com. Vanessa Paz, ABC 10 News.